Hi, it's Dr. John Berardi here with Competitor.com, and today I'd like to talk about tea. Nowadays, pretty much everyone has accepted that tea, especially the green kind, confers some tremendous health benefits. Indeed, as recent as three years ago, you could hardly find green tea in most grocery stores, convenience stores, or restaurants. Now the stuff is ubiquitous. Anywhere you turn, if you want a green tea, you can find it. You can even find it in some fast food restaurants. But not all teas are created equal. For example, tea is commonly packaged in tea bags for convenience. However, among tea experts, this tea is known as dust due to its poor quality. The tea in bags is considered a waste product left over from sorting the higher quality loose leaf teas. Furthermore, tea in bags may be prone to oxidation and not steep as well due to the restricted form of the tea bag. Now, if you enjoy tea that comes in bags, don't stress. It can offer benefits, but just not as many as properly steeped loose tea. Here's an example of some of my favorite loose leaf tea right here. And my favorite way to prepare it is with a tea press. You simply add the tea, then add hot water that's just short of boiling. You see, boiling water scalds tea. And here's another note. Milk has long been used to neutralize the bitter tasting tannins in tea. However, it also negates much of the health benefit associated with drinking tea. So don't do it. Simply choose high quality, great tasting teas and you won't need to add milk to mask the taste. In terms of amounts, the biggest benefits are seen when drinking three to five cups of tea per day. Green, black, white, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're getting your tea. In the meantime, continue to eat well and train hard. And I'll see you next time on Eat and Run.